that i have told you in the previous slide we will talk about the nuclear fission reaction nuclear fusion reaction in the nuclear fission reaction one atom would be divided in multiple small atoms like here uranium 23592 is divided in barium 13956 and krypton 9536 and two neutrons are released here and 200 megavolt of energy is released by one atom of the uranium in the nuclear fusion reaction the small two atoms one is the deuterium one is the tritium both are combining and creating one helium atom here this one helium atom and one neutron is released here and here also almost 17 mega electron volt energy is released so basic difference is that in the nuclear fission reaction two small atoms are created from one big atom in the nuclear fusion reaction two at atom, small atoms will merge and create a bigger atom the nuclear fusion fusion reaction takes place on the sun and that is the very good example of the nuclear fusion reaction that's why the sun is continuously brighting and giving us good amount of energy nuclear fission reaction example are our atomic uh, the uh, nuclear energy production atomic houses the atomic energy creation you can say and in the also atomic bomb creation the nuclear fission reaction of this uranium takes place so here uranium 235 is used and here deuterium and tritium both are the uh, isotopes of actually hydrogen 1h1 is the real hydrogen if you use 1h2 so this 1h2 is deuterium and 1h3 this is tritium so that is what we can see in the nuclear fusion reaction so i hope nuclear fission and fusion reaction both is clear to you here mainly we have uh, seen the nuclear fission reaction in your screen right now so nuclear fission reaction example is of the uranium 23592 that you can see right now it is combining with one neutron here and it is creating 141 barium and 92 krypton with the three neutron releases and if you look at this uranium so these are the three fissile species of uranium is available in the world that you can use for this particular nuclear fission reaction that is uranium 233 which is obtained from the thorium 232 so with the help of thorium reaction we create the uranium 233 uranium 235 is only naturally available form then uranium 239 and plutonium 239 used to make atomic weapon and this is generally obtained from uranium 238 form so how these different fissile species of uranium you can get so there is a name of the ore that is known as the pitch blend pitch blend is the ore of uranium ore means that material through which you get that original element so with the purification of ore you can get the original atom or the original type of element so every kind of element have its own ore so ore of the uranium is called as the pitch blend which is uranium ore and it contains the uranium 235 this one naturally 0.5% and uranium 238 this one in the abundance 99.5% so this uranium 238 is used to create this uranium 239 or plutonium 239 and uranium 233 you will only get with the help of thorium 232 so these three different uranium nuclei you have to remember you can see this will start with the 3 it will go to 5 and it will go to 9 so all the odd numbers are in the last so you have to remember that the even numbers are not radioactive these two are not radioactive the odd numbers are radioactive so suppose you got in the examination suppose questions which one of the uranium is radioactive so this would be 233 235 or 239 no 237 form is available also remember that so this is about the three fissile species of uranium now some thing we have to talk about the nuclear reactors because in the nuclear reactors the same reaction takes place and in the nuclear reactors you have to just control the amount of neutrons if you control the amount of neutrons so easily you can control the reaction if you introduce the neutron the reaction will continue and this will create barium and krypton continuously if you absorb all the neutrons somehow then the reaction can be stopped as well and there would be no further reaction so to control these fast neutrons boron and cadmium rods are used so when you have to stop this reaction just add these a uh, boron rods and then 
or cadmium rods then neutrons will be absorbed and the reaction is going to be stopped then moderator or controller is used here to control the reaction and that can be done with the help of graphite and heavy water so both helpful to control the reaction or moderate the reaction if there would be humongous or the huge reaction will start then it will convert into atomic bomb and everything would be um, messed up there so that's why the control or the moderator controller or moderator is very important here then there would be high amount of energy release so you will need uh, some kind of coolant to cool down the whole reaction or to uh, maintain the temperature right so that is for the coolant used and in the coolant liquid sodium or liquid water is used in the nuclear reactors these three things you have to remember sometimes in the examination they ask you about these different things how the fast neutrons are controlled what moderator or controller is used what type of coolant is used in the nuclear reactors so these all are the things that you have to remember then these are the three types of nuclear fission reaction that you can find out in all the nuclear reactors and you can see we have only three fissile species that is 233 or 235 or 239 and every of these will go different type of fission reactions so in every time you will introduce a neutron here this 233 version is converted into 234 and then the 94% of that amount would be converted into strontium xenon three neutrons and 197.9 mega electron volt of energy this 235 is converted into 236 uranium and 85% of that converted into krypton and barium with three neutrons with 202.5 mega electron volt of energy that we have already seen in the previous example as well and then 239 which is used in the atomic bomb that is converted into 240 and 73% of that is converted into zirconium xenon three neutrons and 207.1 mega electron volt of energy by each atom so these three reactions are the only possible fission reaction because three fissile species only we have so remember it with their energy amount so this will be helpful for you in the examination as well then how to find this uranium so in india we have two places one is this jaduguda mine which is located in the jharkhand and also is spelled as jaduguda or jadugora and uranium mine this uranium mine is only present in the jharkhand state and then we can find out the thorium 232 which is used to create uranium 233 that you can only find out in the kerala and in kerala where the monazite sands where you can find out there only you can find out the thoriums so from the monazite sand the thorium is extracted so these are the only source in india of the uranium so i hope you will remember this both places or the both types of the materials that you can find out to get the uranium from this these are the fusion reactions that you can see all type of fusion reactions are available here and the probability of those are also provided here and what you have to remember do not remember the probability you have to remember only this fusion reaction and their amount of emitted energy sometimes in the examination they provide the nuclear reaction and ask you about the energy so that's why this is very important and also remember that the most important type suppose if you cannot remember this particular thing only remember this third number fusion reaction which is most important among all because this type of fusion reaction takes place on the sun so where one deuterium meets with the tritium and it will create one helium and one neutron is released and in every reaction there is 17.589 mega electron volt of energy released so this third number reaction is the most important if you can remember the others that would be also very good again i am telling you do not remember the probability probability is generally don't don't come in the examination the electron uh, mega electron volt of energy and the thermonuclear fusion reaction is only asked